Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog on Keto's Diary. I'm here in Bell Island. I've been wanting to go here for such a long time and then finally it just happened. It's such a tiny island but then it's so sweet and so pretty and obviously I'm here at the peak of summer so there's so much of um, you know flowers and everything looks green and um, it's just so pretty. <laughs> uh, Welcome to another vlog on Keto's Diary. This is a special episode because after two years, um, I finally left the island of Newfoundland. I mean, I can't quite say that I completely left the island, but at least I left the Avalon Peninsula. Uh, uh, I don't know if you guys have been following me for a while. I went to India in 2019. Uh, of May and then uh, the pandemic happened and I never got a chance to leave St. John's at all so I've been stuck here for two years and it's been a very difficult journey uh, like the most of you all around the world and finally uh, some of my friends and me we decided to leave St. John's and go to Bell Island for a day now Bell Island is another island of Newfoundland it's very close you can go to Portugal Cove and take a ferry um, and go to Bell Island in 20 minutes you just you know, cross uh, the ocean and go to the other side uh, so what you see here is we are getting into the ferry as in the car is being driven into the ferry uh, you can drive to Portugal Cove and then uh, you can drive into the ferry and then the ferry transports you to the other side to Bell Island and then you can use your car and travel around the island. So here we are off to Bell Island. This feels so good guys. Um, although it was just for a short time, it really felt good to leave St. John's. Um, it mentally helped me because I've been feeling stuck. I've been homesick for such a long time. Um, and uh, this was a beautiful time for me to get into the ocean uh, although I was on a ferry uh, it's been such a long time since I got into the ferry the last time I did it is when I was in ninth grade uh, when we went to visit my dad while he was working in Andaman we did the same thing and then after so many years I'm doing this again and here we are at Bell Island It was a beautiful time uh, guys I was really scared that it might rain because the weather here in St. John's is so unpredictable but then um, it was quite windy that day but other than that we didn't have rains or anything so the ferry is uh, going back to St. John's for the next trip that's what you're seeing there and um, you know we were just going around the island honestly guys there's nothing much to say uh, so Bell Island used to be a mining island as in uh, there is a is an iron mine if I'm not wrong uh, so that's how the settlers came and settled in this place it's such a tiny island there are still people living here and again here you go with my craziness with the lupines I don't know these flowers are very attractive I find them to be very mesmerizing um, so uh, to have an island full of these flowers, I just couldn't um, not take enough clips of this. And this is not just to show you guys as well. It's more like um, a memory that I'm making for myself. So even maybe 10 years down the lane, I can go back to my YouTube channel and see what I did uh, on this particular day. And um, that is really great. That's why I like YouTube. And um, I wanted to do the... Uh, house tour and i wanted to do this video on accommodations but then um i'm trying to uh, get in contact with people who are actually uh, happy to show their houses and that's why there's a delay uh, with that video but then i didn't want to disappoint you guys so i thought that i'll just put up a vlog in the interim so that you guys know that i am trying to be up to date and you can also enjoy um exploring newfoundland with me i mean if you're gonna come here and live here you might as well know what is here so that you know what to do when you come here right 
and here's another most interesting thing that i love to do during the summer i love summer foraging so what you see here are wild strawberries um and this is the seafront on the other side now uh going back to foraging and uh, collecting wild berries it's one of my favorite things to do in newfoundland some of you ask me what you can do when you come here and what you can do for leisure so during the summer going out into the forest picking mushrooms picking wild berries is one of my favorite things to do so i just wanted to uh, talk about that to you i'll try to make a vlog sometime maybe if i go into the woods and actually collect something now we're getting back um, uh, to the restaurant. There's a famous fish and chips place um, and uh, people say that the fish and chips are really good. Now I personally hate fish so I didn't try that out. And then here we are back into the ferry that's going back to um, St. John's. Now again, these ferries have a schedule. It's not like you can just get in and get out. So you have to keep track of when the ferry comes in and when the ferry goes out. That's very important. And as we finished our uh, day there, it started getting windy and cold. But that didn't stop us from enjoying ourselves. It was really cold and I was shivering, but then I did want it. Uh, make use of all the opportunity I got so I didn't even go inside and take rest I was busy shooting all these clips and I wanted to show you how the mouth of the ship opens for all the vehicles to get out this may be something very common in so many parts of the world uh, but I just wanted to show something different uh, because I personally was enjoying myself so much that day um, and yeah I mean uh, why not have something different in a vlog right um, so that's us exiting um, the ferry and going back to St. John's. And here's another very interesting thing about summer. This is called Capelin Rolling. So this particular fish is called Capelin. Uh, so they come to the beach. Uh, they just come in in millions, you know, and everybody just catches them. Now, again, like I said, I don't eat fish, but I just wanted to catch some fish for my cat. So that's about my vlog, you guys. Meet you again in another interesting episode soon. Bye.